Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's talk about the little things. So it's been a long time since I've been on uh, my YouTube channel on a regular basis. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, there's a lot going on. There's some big changes. There's some things coming. Uh, new, just a whole new beginning for a lot of people. And I really reached back and dug deep on some things and lessons that I've learned over, over my life. And I know a lot of you have read the book. Thank you for that. And uh, a lot of you follow along with the videos and know, you know, a little bit about my story or everything about my story, about my life. And it's interesting as I go back, I'm a mess right now. Sorry, I just got done fast and cardio, but these, the, the, you know, that ties into the little things I want to talk about. The little things matter. You know how they say don't sweat the small stuff? I think we should sweat the small stuff. I think the small stuff actually matters. Now, what I mean by that is that I don't think we should worry about things that we have no control over. I think we should just stop that, like what other people think, because we can't control what other people think. And what other people think is none of your business. And what other people think says more about them than it does about you, especially if it's negative. Um, I feel sorry for anybody that trashes me. I feel sorry for anybody that thinks negatively towards me. I feel sorry for anybody that needs feels the need to write it down and send it. I, I feel sorry for the people that feel they understand or have any uh, any understanding of my life at all and what's going on under this roof because we don't. We don't know what's going on in other people's lives. So Social media has been interesting. It's been interesting to watch. Um, I think it's been a very destructive thing for a lot of people. I think a lot of people get involved in other people's business when they shouldn't. They just they just do. They feel the need to express their opinions. And again, it says a lot about them. Um, over the last year, I've actually been quite quiet with regards to uh, social media. And uh, I refuse to respond to any of the nonsense going on in the world. Um, I refuse to respond to attacks or criticism, that kind of thing. We all get them and that's cool. You do you, uh, whatever makes you feel better. But the small stuff, when I say we should sweat the small stuff, for example, I just said I just got done doing my fasted cardio. That's a small thing. That's, that's the small stuff. Waking up in the morning, getting on the dread mill, I don't like cardio. I, I don't like cardio. I don't like, I actually don't like exercise. I don't like exercise and I don't like healthy food. How's that for a revelation? I don't like either of those things. I much rather sleep in, watch the fights and eat pizza all day long. I would much rather do that, but I don't. Well, sometimes I do. Well, I don't sleep. Anyway, some of that stuff I do. But the fact of the matter is, when you hit a certain age, and I just heard this, and it really resonated with me, which made me want to do this video. What I heard was this. How old do you want to live? Like, what, what's the age where you're like, okay, I'm done. For me, it's 100. And I know that sounds bizarre. And a lot of people are like, my great-grandmother lived to be 107 years of age. She lived in her own home, two-story home, until she was 106. My grandfather lived to be 100. So I come from a family of long livers, um, for the most part. My mom died young. Uh, my father's still alive. He's going to be 80 in a couple of years. Um, I hope I have some of that. I hope I have some of those genetics. And my plan is to live to be 100. So having said that, I need to reverse engineer that. So I'm going to be 53 years of age this month. That's old. 53. I remember when I was 20. Seems like yesterday, but it wasn't. I want to live to be 100. So I got 47 years left on this planet. 47 years. And I need to divide that. I need to reverse engineer that and figure out, okay, what does what does each year kind of look like? The 47 years, what I want them to look like. And inside those 47 years, what do I want the months to look like? What do I want the weeks to look like? What do I want the days to look like? When you get to this point in life, and I hope you all do, you start to realize that time is the most valuable asset that you have. It's not money. It's not things. It's not material. I, I've, I've had all the stuff 
that I've ever wanted. I've, I've, I've pretty much, I've done a lot of things. I've been very, very blessed. I've lived through incredible tragedies and I made it through on the other end. I'm batting 1000 when it comes to surviving tragedies. And I pray to God that there's not too many more in my life. I know there's going to be, it's called life, but I want to enjoy every second of every day as I move forward. So the small things matter. Waking up and doing that fasted cardio because I love myself enough to take care of my body, to take care of my health. I love myself enough to fuel my body with good food. And I don't, I don't worry. I mean, it, it makes me happy. Isn't it about being happy? Shouldn't we all be happy? When you're healthier, you're happier. It's the point blank. When you're healthy, you're happier. And I have gone through this journey with a lot of people. I have coached a lot of people. And the one thing that I really realized is that I've helped some people hit their target number and they weren't happy. And I've helped some people hit that perfect body and they weren't happy. This is about happiness for me. I want people to be happy. I want to be happy and I want to be around happy people. And when you're happiest, it's when you're the healthiest. It's when your health is a priority. It's when you wake up and take care of yourself. The small things matter. Wake it up and make your bed. First victory of the day. Wake up and make your bed. First victory of the day. Small things matter. Drink that water. It matters. Eat those good nutrient dense foods. It matters. And don't be fooled or misled into this nonsense about calories in, calories out. That's the only thing that matters. Be in a caloric deficit and you will reach your goal weight. I'm here to tell you that is not true. That is not true. Scientifically, it is not true. And it's as simple as this. If I have 150 calories of Pepsi and 150 calories of almonds, your body's going to react completely different for the when you ingest those two things. They're both 150 calories. But your body reacts differently to the 150 calories of Pepsi than it does to 150 calories of almonds. It's about health. What's the sense in losing weight if you're wrecking your health doing it? I've said that a million times and I'm going to keep saying that. It is about quality nutrition over quantity. You eat enough quality nutrition, you're not going to have to worry about the quantity. Trust me when I tell you that. Most people have a problem with quantity of pizza and processed foods and wine and beer and alcohol and, and all kinds of junk and sugar. It's the quantity of that stuff. It's not the quantity of healthy. Eat, eat a lot of healthy foods. You will feel better. Love yourself enough to get enough sleep. It matters. Love yourself enough to read that good book, to listen to that good audio book, to listen to that good podcast. The things you put in matter. What goes in here, what goes in here goes to your heart and you become that. Surround yourself with better people. Listen to better things. Watch better things. Stop with the nonsense all over social media and all the drama and all the chaos and all the negativity in the world right now. Focus on you. Focus on becoming the best version of you. Body, mind, spirit, it all matters. The small stuff matters. Make the small stuff count in the run of a day and live your best life. It's not just about living it's about thriving. The thrive mindset is about focusing on becoming the best version of yourself. And we can all be the best versions of ourselves. The small things matter. So get up, take care of yourself, love yourself enough to feed yourself good foods, love yourself enough to move that body, love yourself enough to watch some good things and surround yourself with good people. Love yourself enough, care about yourself enough to be the best version of yourself and do those little things that add up over time. Because those little things turn into you. And ultimately, if you want to live a long, healthy life, those little things matter. Take care, guys.